Coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. And it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's your first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, presenting the challenger, Bazooka. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 232 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Push, 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 push. 
Back to the feet now. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. That knee might have landed there. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Two minutes to go in round one. Nice hook lands. Oh, straight right. And there comes the separation now. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Another takedown attempt not there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just unable to quite find that range. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That knee might have landed there. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh, oh. big knee. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Ready? Round two underway. Checks that leg kick. Big body kick lands. Oh. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Just misses there with the left. Good stick. Lance. Takedown defense holds up. Big knee. Oh, just digs his body. He shot every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. No. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, staying active in pursuit of the submission. Now going for a leg. Just over a minute to go round two. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. 
fight. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. This next round, we really want to focus on ground control. You have to set up your takedown. I want you to maintain. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to make it. Oh, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. Gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by...